All right, hope everyone's staying positive. Not staying positive. Hope everyone's doing well and staying positive. I say it so much, I don't know how I forgot my opening line. But this video is taken off from the last video I did. I kind of did a walkthrough of the whole entire job site that we have going on down here in the South Bay. And primarily what we're doing is working with the foundation. So they have an existing gray beam throughout the house. And in certain sections of the house, we had to cut out about two or three feet and make that particular area wider about 22, 24 inches throughout. I think we had to put a total of 10 maybe 12 hfx brackets here now what the hf bracket does it helps shore up the new wall that they're going to do here i'll get you guys a more in-depth info um, information on what actually it does but i i'm looking at it as more probably for earthquake or hurricane um to add extra strength for possible earthquakes and hurricanes here so any of my builders out there general contractors by all means leave me the exact definition of what it is used for other than that the cameras were kind of set up in a perfect spot here where i was able to capture the guys putting it um taking it apart and putting it all together so that's pretty much what this video is going to uh, demonstrate here we did have the makita jackhammers of the 80 i mean a 38 pound jackhammer for some reason it just wasn't hitting enough so i went out and got these two Bosch jackhammers i'll leave a link down below and these things yeah i'm i'm not really a tool well i am a tool guy but i do definitely see the difference with these so if you guys are breaking out some concrete or 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 uh looking to break out some concrete especially in a limited space i would definitely recommend these Bosch jackhammers i like the hilti but I just can't give them that much money. So I'm gonna let this video uh, ride out a little bit. I'm gonna jump in and out of the narrative here, but you're pretty much gonna see the guys taking a, um, this corner piece off. Here, we're breaking out this corner piece out, and I do have some pictures throughout the video of, of us actually framing it as well, and um, kind of show you some other things that are going on with this uh, particular job. It's a lot of framing here. It's um, um, they're, they're mainly a gray beams um, so I look at it as it being a retaining wall but there's a lot of cuts and a lot of bends and a lot of measurements to really make sure right since this is going to be part of the house so everything pretty much has to be um, squared up pretty tight it's little room for tolerance it's a little room for tolerance but not that much here so sit back relax enjoy the music if you guys have any questions any comments leave those down below and as always if you're in the sacramento area hit us up san francisco bay area hit us up shout out to australia for some reason when i was looking at my analytics on uh, youtube you guys were at about 10 percent, so definitely appreciate it um mate and it's summertime here it's first day of summer when i was making this video here so it's probably winter time down there so definitely appreciate you guys down there everyone all over the world i get a lot of dms about how to build retaining walls and how the guys like our videos we also got some um, comments on some other videos from some uh, project managers and superintendents saying they like the detail here so detail is important cleaning this on its job site is important it is construction so things constantly change even if you look at the plans 20 or 30 times so that's one of the things i kind of learned on this project well i kind of knew it but just really looking at these plans consistently and all the time especially when you're doing additions to house here the primary thing that we're doing here we're going to be installing a 4,000 square foot deck we got about 120 piers they're averaging about 14 feet deep we got about 10 tons of rebar that we're going to be using up here we're going to also put in probably about i want to say Probably about 10, 12,000 square feet of concrete for two fire truck turnarounds. So this is a big project. Gonna have about 20, maybe 25 long form videos um, for this project. Kind of showing some real detail and let anybody out there in the Bay Area or Sacramento know that we are the ones for their job if they have one coming up here. We also got a swimming pool coming up here as well. We're not gonna be part of the swimming pool, but we've been working closely with the uh, swimming pool contractor. So again, any questions, any comments, leave those down below. And yeah, let's get in this video. I might jump in and out of it here and there. But if not, 
appreciate you guys be sure to stick around for the entire video we got a lot of drone shots a lot of before and after pictures and again this is just a corner of the wall the cameras were set up in a um, perfect position where it kind of captured everything here the last video was kind of a walkthrough on what's going on on the entire job site here and um one of the i guess you could say picture perfect moments is when we installing these piers in the inside of the house so we got three of them that's about 12 feet deep i will get a video out of that you'll also see another video of us actually installing the hfx and there's a lot of rebar to install so check out part one two and three and those are kind of just like i said updates on the job as it was progressing appreciate you guys stick around to the end of the video help us with all that youtube algorithm and let's get into it Thank you. 